Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to do a quick lesson on transform positioning and parent-child relationships inside of Unity. Um, so we can see here I am dealing with a sad bear game object, just like any other game object, it has a transform. If I go ahead and click on any of them, you can see literally every object, whether or not it actually has a, a sprite or a in-game physical presence, it does have a position somewhere within the game world. Now, the default position, as you would probably expect if you've ever used Blender or anything like that, is 0, 0, 0, which means, uh, well, 0 along the x-axis, which is usually uh, horizontal, 0 on y, which is up and down. And in this case, in a 2D game, the z-axis is moving backwards and forwards. Now, as for how I got this character positioned over here, well, it's pretty basic. 5 in the x-axis makes it move 5 units over here to the right. And you can note that each unit is indicated by these grid lines in the back. And then minus 1.5 units, which means down 1.5 units along the x-axis, which puts us roughly around here. So you can see that uh, the game object itself is in the center of where the sprite is rendering. Now, before you just jump in there and think that, well, okay, if you want to move the character's position, just move the transform in the game world. And while that does normally work, the problem is if you want it to collide with other objects, you're normally going to need to add something like a rigid body 2D or 3D if you're using a 3D game. And uh, that rigid body actually calculates collisions between the moving character and, let's say, a wall and will prevent you from walking into a wall, as long as that wall has a 2D or 3D box collider on it. So uh, when you're actually moving your transforms, just note that you usually want to actually um, move the rigid body 2D and let the rigid body 2D manage your transform position. Now, uh, one more thing for this video is having a child game object attached to a parent game object. You can see I have a character dialogue object, which um, is this little invisible thing, which does have an audio source on there, and is mostly just a script that is going to play at this location. Um, but if we go to the character dialogue and we look at the rect transform for that, um, you can see that the position is 1.3y. And remember, uh, y going down is negative. Um, so this is actually meaning going 1.3 units up and not changing the X position at all. So uh, if you didn't already realize, what these numbers mean is that the child positioning on the transform is relative to the parent. So this is 1.3 units above the position of the parent. And yes, if you do move the parent, that's going to move the child as well, as you can see here. So you need to just remember that whenever you're dealing with a child object of a parent, that its position is relative to the parent. And But for the game objects on the top level, their position is relative to the game origin point at 0, 0, 0. So that's going to be it for this video on the basics of Transform inside of Unity 5.4. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future video content.